530. More on the deadly mass shooting at a Jeho Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall in Germany. Police saying a lone gunman shot and killed seven people, four men, two women, and an unborn child before killing himself. At least eight others were also injured. German police are crediting their officers and special forces for preventing further bloodshed. ABC's M. Wynn has the story. The Hamburg, Germany community in shock after a gunman opened fire at a Jehovah Witnesses Kingdom Hall, killing seven people, including an unborn child. German authorities say the suspected gunman, a former member of the congregation, acted alone and then killed himself after police stormed the building, but not before injuring eight others, four of them seriously. Police are still searching for a motive. Das ist jetzt passiert. Das ist die the interior minister saying this is the worst crime in the recent history of our city. He says when shots rang out, police arrived within minutes of the first emergency call, which came in around 9.04. Almost immediately after that, a special operations unit that happened to be in the area got to the scene and was able to separate the gunmen from others. Top officials crediting that swift response for saving many lives. And I will also give a special mention to the Hamburg police who reacted with speed and incredible bravery, bringing people to safety. Police identified the suspected shooter as 35-year-old Philip F., saying he fired more than 100 rounds during the attack. They say the man was previously investigated after authorities received a tip that he might not be suitable to bear firearms, but was ultimately cleared. Police say he legally purchased the semi-automatic pistol used in the shooting in December. Attacks are always despicable, but attacks on places of worship, by definition, places of peace is truly shocking. Jehovah's Witnesses saying in a statement the shooter attacked after their midweek meeting had ended, adding our prayers are with all those affected. Police say the suspected gunman had no criminal record and no terrorist background. The investigation continues. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington. German authorities say they know the gunman was a former member of that church and they know he acted alone, but they are still searching for a motive. ABC News is reporting from Hamburg, Germany, right here tonight at 630.